In this video, we'll add a Spread.js instance to your web page using pure JavaScript. First, make sure you have the correct Spread.js release files for the version you are using. If you don't already have these, you can download a free trial version here, then unzip the release files into a directory. To support all of the functions of Spread, reference Spread.js's scripts within your project. These can be found in the scripts folder of your release. Next, add the CSS files to change the appearance or default theme of the Spread.js widget. Spread.js offers a variety of different themes to choose from. For this example, we'll be using the Excel 2013 white theme. To properly display Spread.js, we must target a DOM element. For this example, we are initializing the Spread.js widget in a DOM element with the ID of SS. You are now able to use Spread.js in your project on your local machine. You may notice there's a small watermark. This is because your project is not including a trial or production license. To license your project and to remove this watermark, please watch our video that demonstrates how to license your Spread.js application. If you have any issues or questions during the installation or trial of Spread Controls, our customer engagement team is here and ready to help. Learn more about everything Spread has to offer. Continue with the Getting Started series.